Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. And don't worry, we're going to be returning to our wonderful roaming herds of roosters very soon. But before we dove back into everything, I just wanted to say yes, I know it's been a little while since I have been in Jurassic World Evolution. If you guys haven't noticed, we have had, oh, only 200 or so episodes go out on our channel since we've been regularly doing Jurassic World Evolution again. But that's all about to change thanks to what's happening next week. So for those of you who don't know, a new DLC piece for Jurassic World Evolution is actually going to be coming out next week called The Secrets of Dr. Wu. And it caught my attention quite a bit because it is going to be dealing with hybrid dinosaurs and some new campaign areas. And there's also going to be a big update that will actually change how the dinosaur herds work with one another. They'll start having a leader for the herds that will have competitions to have that leadership spot. That sounded amazing. That just sounded so cool. I really want to see how their behaviors will change. I want to see what kind of new dinosaurs, even if they're like hybrids that will be created, will be added in. And I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the constant updates and the new little bits of DLC that have been coming out. And I know that you guys would probably enjoy it as well. And I've actually had several requests to return to our roosters. So it does seem like we have a perfect timing for that. And uh, I would be very happy to jump back in except do you guys remember where we left off it's kind of it's kind of dramatic it's not the best situation and I'll show you that in just a second but the final thing I wanted to say before we actually officially got started again is that there is a new challenge mode that I haven't done yet and that I haven't really looked into but there's different types of challenge modes that you can do you can go on easy medium hard Jurassic and you can actually unlock some different patterns so that's really interesting to me and it makes me wonder are there just these four in case you guys have had an opportunity to try this out or are you able to unlock even more patterns? Because holy cow, if I could make my dinosaurs really sparkle with some new genetics to change the way they look, or if I could possibly unlock new buildings to decorate our parks with, or even new decorative buildings or other things that I could put down, I would be doing these challenge modes with you guys all the time, maybe even live. So they need to really, they need to make this happen because I think that would be really cool. But all right, so now that we have looked over the new challenge mode, we have mentioned the hybrid dinosaurs coming, it's time to return to the disaster. Ah, yes, our wonderful, wonderful Jurassic World. The place of beauty that we left behind with absolute chaos currently happening. Yeah, now that we're back, I remember why I was taking a little bit of a break. We have mutts on the loose, not just a little bit on the loose, whoopsie doops, not just a little bit on the loose, but majorly on the loose. They are furious, they are feeling it, they are absolutely all over the place, and uh, they are causing havoc. They are basically destroying us, not by chasing down all of our guests or destroying the area, but by taking away all of my money. We're almost a million dollars in the hole right now because the mutts are loose. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. <laughs> And I had no idea how to fix this. And I think our only option, the only things that we can truly do at this point is run away. Yes, like literally run away. I know you guys are probably going to think that sounds really weird, but if we continue to be at such a huge negative profit per minute because we have dinosaurs on the loose, we're just going to continue to go in the hole on this island and never be able to fix it. So since I have absolutely no fossils out right now to be able to sell, we're actually going to run away. We're actually going to go ahead and we're going to jump islands. If I can remember how to jump islands. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave. Do do do. We'll be back. We'll be back later. Oh my gosh, we were already 1.2 million dollars in the hole. So what we're gonna do, because this is the only option I could think of to fix this. I even calculated how much I could sell everything on the island for. If we started destroying all the shops, if we sold off our expedition center, it actually wouldn't be enough to keep us out of the hole long enough to be able to go ahead and get all of our mutts tranquilized and put back into their enclosure. So we're in big trouble with those guys. 
I may have to just get rid of them for now. No joke, because this is many oofs of times that they have escaped. Meanwhile, we can come back to this absolutely beautiful island where I think we have almost unlocked everything. Let's see if we've unlocked everything. I wish we could just go ahead and like shove some of these millions over there. But since we can't, we're actually gonna go ahead and send our dig teams out. Uh, I'm just gonna send them to these random places because why not? Is there another spot? Look at all these dig sites we haven't unlocked yet. <gasps> I definitely need to do that. Oh my gosh, I want to unlock some dig sites. But we're going to actually come here to send our expedition teams out so that we can fill up the fossil reserves and run back to the other island and sell the fossils until we have a little bit of a buffer. We can tranquilize the mutts. At this point, I kind of want to just clear them out. Maybe we can finally make them happy and keep them, but it's very stressful. So we're going to try to fix that situation. The only option I could come up with to do so is by going to another island, building up our reserves so that we have a lot of money's worth of uh, expedition pieces to sell, and then going back so that we can fix what broke. Also, ah, oh, this is so pretty. Look at these waterfalls. I almost forgot about those. It has been so long since we have come back to the first island. I don't even remember. We did all of the missions here. Our profit per minute is happy. The dinosaur variety is healthy, apparently. Wonderful. Um, what else? Like, we have a couple more things to do here. Oh, we have a new dino to unlock here. <gasps> that would be so cool. There is a new dino to unlock here and a security center. You know, that might be the thing we need. Let's gather up the fossils and let's gather up the money and then we can go back to our last island with a security center and a few million dollars. That sounds pretty perfect. So I think we're gonna work on security. Let's get the security center. And while we're waiting to have enough in fossil resources, let's go ahead and get the uh, Cynoceratops, which sounds amazing. And speaking of sounding amazing, I think we still have a ton of dinosaurs. We still have a ton. We have 20 more dinosaurs to unlock. What am I doing? We need to unlock all of these dinos. There's just so many of them. And I think a lot of them are actually going to be unlocked. Let's see. Requires research. Requires research. Requires research. Hmm. How do I unlock these guys? I wish that when you clicked on them, they would tell you exactly what you needed to do. Oh, hey, and there's a new security thing. Use the ranger, uh, use the ranger team's camera to take a photograph that includes at least two Spinosaurus specimens. Do I even have two Spinosaurus specimens? Well, we could make them. <laughs> All right, we'll look into that in just a second. All right, and then let's go ahead and we'll let the high quality DNA uh, become extracted. Oh, hey, this is one of the new ones, the Pentaceratops. Yeah, he's one of the new ones that we actually need to find. We've already got this guy. Already got this guy. We have so much money. We'll just, and oh, the Stegosaurus. There you go, little buddy. We'll just go ahead and sell that. But meanwhile, this is what we're trying to collect is all of this gold, all of these fossils. We'll hurry back to the other island, sell them off really quickly, and then run away again. And that sounds terrible. But since you, I really wish you shared the amount of money you have on all the islands. I kind of get why you don't. And I can follow it from a story point of view, but it just feels weird. You know what I mean? All right. I don't think we even have Spinosaurus, but if I remember correctly, I think we did end up with an empty. Yeah, we do have an empty carnivore feeding area. So I guess we could put two Spinosaurus in there and see what happens. I think they would fight, but I also don't think I've hatched many Spinosaurus. Do I even have a Spinosaurus? Do, oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, and he's kind of new. Have I even hatched one of these guys? I don't even know if I've hatched one of these guys yet. How could we modify them? This would be cool. I mean, we could do like a, no a normal pattern and a wetland pattern. And then I guess we could try giving them two. Yeah, actually, that'd be kind of cool to give one like maybe bone density and maybe one could have like aggressive instincts or something instead. And we'll give them different traits and see what happens. Uh, that might be kind of, wow, and they have really high ratings. So that might push us up to like a perma five stars here. Uh, I don't think there's anything else other than like 
yeah, this Sinoceratops and the security center are the only things we need to unlock on this island. And have we put down all of the spots? Yeah, there's the innovation center, which I find really cool. Oh, but we don't have any of the other really cool buildings. Because this is a tiny, tiny island. <laughs> That's why. Uh, and it, let's see if I can send off the expedition teams. Maybe, where's the Spinosaurus's DNA hiding? Garden Park, site completed. Spinosaurus, Spinosaurus. Where are you going to be hiding, my friend? I need to be looking for the little meat icons because this is a carnivore. Uh, Spinosaurus. I don't know. A few of you guys. Yeah, here we go. All right, from Africa. Spinosaurus, Spinosaurus. So those two are going to be gathering up some Spinosaurus fossils. And then and there's the mutt. <sighs> Man, I know you Australians were really happy when we got the mutt, but I'm telling you. I don't know if he was worth all of the chaos that he has he has brought upon our home. And the Gigantospinosaurus. I don't have him yet, so we'll go ahead and send out an expedition team for that spot too. Uh, but alright, well, let's get the Spinosaurus DNA up just a pinch. Well, I guess we don't technically need to. I would like to be able to affect a little bit more. Uh, here. And we're going to go ahead and build this wall. Because I definitely want to protect... All of the people who are going to be coming by. We learned on the other island what happens when you don't. Um, and let's go ahead and replace this wall. And that should be good over here. And then we can destroy this fencing. And this will be the new Spinosaurus area. Hopefully we won't regret that. A little nervous about that. I do like how we have viewing on both ends of the the gallery because if we're going to turn this into a Spinosaurus area, it's going to be really popular. Very, very popular. And we need to get the income up and the guest count up anyway. So let's do this. Not sure about this. I kind of wish that I could modify its genomes a little bit more. Holy cow, they're expensive. It's two million just without even editing it in what in any kind of way. But let's come and work with our scientist and see what we can do. All right, if we add the tooth hardness, we can actually increase the rating to 200, which would be amazing. And its attack would jump from 82 to 101. It doesn't have a lot of resilience, but that'll be when we access the rest of its genome code. So let's see, resilience, attack, rating, 204? If we do aggressive instincts, 209 with hyper-efficient blood, and 2. 12 with increased bone density. That is more like it. We might lose a ton of money on that though because I don't know if the viability would be high enough. Maybe it'd be 34% plus 60%. That's really high. I think we'll be okay there. All right, let's hatch one Spinosaurus there. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have exactly the same type except maybe hyper-efficient blood to lower defense but increase lifespan. I want to I want to make it just a little bit different than the, its brother so that we can see how that turn out. And it's a good thing we have so much money here. Holy cow. Meanwhile, we have more fossils that we have managed to get. Wow, look at that. Oh, that shark fossil looks so cool. And we have little pinches, not a lot, but little pinches of more Spinosaurus DNA. We'll send out our team to gather up more. Ah insufficient fossil capacity. Let's see if we can upgrade our fossil dig site or our expedition center. Can I upgrade? We could upgrade it to have more dig speed, dig yield. Would it, it would be our fossil center? Fossil center, extraction speed and inventory space. Let's go with inventory space instead so that we have a little bit more room. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Look at that turtle fossils. How cool. Oh, the Gigantospinosaurus. I really like that guy a lot. I actually got him in Parkosaurus, which if you guys ever would like to join me, just down at the bowling alley, since of all the places that you're going to have on an island filled with resurrected dinosaurs, apparently a bowling alley is the popular choice. Where is our bowling alley here? There it is. All right. Ah. Uh, I want to rename this thing now. I want to, I guess I'm, I just would call it like, um, I want to give it like kind of a bland name. 
So maybe bowling for dino eggs. Let's just have bowling for dino eggs. <laughs> And like the pins can be, uh, maybe or like bowling, bowling, bowling with like bowling for dinosaur eggs. We'll make all the bowling balls look like dinosaur eggs, not in the shape but the coloring. Uh, which really okay, never mind. We'll make them all look like the cliche commercialized version of a dinosaur egg, which is basically a Yoshi egg. And then we'll make all of the pins look like little dinosaurs, and you can just like knock them down. So there we go, bowling for dino eggs. You guys could come and maybe have some some vegan nacho cheesy fries with me or vegan poutine which does exist and we could look over the parkosaurus adventures if you ever just want to break from all this more serious stuff and you know throwing millions of dollars around on really cool spinosaurus research uh but the parkosaurus was pretty fun and we have a gigantosaurus uh spinosaurus excuse me in that and it's really cool all right so that being said how are those guys coming along Wow, they're actually going to take a while to show up. That's kind of interesting. Uh, meanwhile, over in our expedition center, we do have more Spinosaurus DNA. And we now have one, two... Ooh, that's what I want to see, that platinum. Good, good, good. All right, the, the turtle DNA and the marine reptiles, anything that's less than 100,000, we're not even going to wait on. We're, we're not going to bother with for the other island. But I think we're getting close enough. We might about be to a million and be able... Oh, yes, we have the Gigantospinosaurus. I want more of its DNA before we try to make it, though. Otherwise, I don't know if that would bode very well for the buddy. Uh, let's get more of its DNA. More of the Spinosaurus DNA. Ah, a theater needs resupplied. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to send my ranger teams off. It's been a little while. All right, let's resupply those. Here we go. Oh, actually, maybe we need had another one. Because those were orange. And I'm used to them being red. Yeah, there have been a few little quality of life updates, haven't there? Interesting. Oh, and I haven't renamed the clothes shop. Oh, that is just... Come on, we have to be a little bit more creative than that. Uh, let's call it this one, uh, shiny and scales. There we go. Or actually, no feathers. Uh, let's see. Let's name it like furious in feathers because some of them had feathers. Okay, I stand by that statement because it's awesome. Uh, but all right, yeah, it's actually going to take a hot minute to get the spinosauruses ready. So there's that. Our mutts are still completely on the loose and destroying everything. So I don't think that's going to go over very well. Let's actually finish up by popping back over to the other island and seeing if my ridiculous plan might actually work. So let's go ahead. We're going to rush there really quickly. This is so bad. I wonder if taking on... Let's see if we can take on an emergency mission from our different groups. Maybe they'll like have some sort of mission whereby the sheer accident, like if it's taking a picture of a couple dinos, I could totally pull that off. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right. All right, we, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for the scenic views. Land the helicopter. Come on, guys. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Land the helicopter, rush over. Fossils, fossils, fossils. Sell, 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 sell. 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 Okay, we're almost out of the hole. Do we have any missions, any reputation missions that we could accept really, 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 really quickly? Don't stay here very long. New contract. New contract. All right. New contract. Security. New contract from security. Reach at least 15,000 profit per minute from attractions at the park. Accepted. Uh, new contract. Okay, we'll come back for a new contract later. We can probably get 15,000 by the time we get this all up and going again. Time to get back in the helicopter. We literally threw the fossils out of the helicopter and we're out of here. <laughs> so I think that my plan will work. It is a desperate hacky plan having to rely on using the other islands without just transferring our money from the bank account. Drives me nuts, but it's kind of hilarious to imagine that to fix this problem as the mutts are going loose on the island, tearing it up, causing chaos for all of our guests, I fly by in a helicopter and lug down platinum and gold on top of people's heads and yell, I'll be back later with more. And that's how I'm helping. Somehow that's just glorious. 
But all right, we're back to this lovely island where hopefully we will be able to restore a little bit of uh, a little bit of faith to our wonderful people. Oh, that's not even worth uh, going ahead and processing. All right, all of you need to hurry up. Hurry up, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, that's not, dang it, they brought me some really cheapo fossils this time, so none of those are really gonna help us. But next time we will actually be able to settle in and see what the Spinosaurus is up to and even work on getting the security center, which I think George is going to kind of snicker at the situation going on on the other island. So it'll be good to have that for sure. Also, my ranger team just hit a bunch of people. <sighs> This is fine. This is fine. But all right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have not yet become part of our team, uh, do please consider subscribing because we are going to be picking up on many more adventures and we have had so many already. If you would like to have something to do during these long dreary winter days, we have almost 7,000 episodes in our archive that you are welcome to join us and per purview whenever you would like to do so. And if you have names for our Spinosauruses, I would love to hear them. Or really names for all of the different buildings, because this is very... The bar? The bar? Come on, we can do better than that. I know you guys are creative enough to help me rename these things. Oh, I totally forgot you could rename the viewing galleries too. That is so cool. Yeah, we've got to rename all of this stuff because if we, it, like, Innovation Center 1, what is innovative about the name Innovation Center 1? No, 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 no. We can do better. We can do much better. So yes, please let me know some cool names that you think we could give to everything, anything under the sun. And if you could, do please leave a like to possibly, possibly leave a little bit of hope for the people on that fifth island. Will we ever go back? Only time will tell. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.